It seems you can't shake a virtual stick without hitting a new AI product in the WordPress space these days. AI is everywhere, and while I'm still on the fence about its usefulness, I am eager to see how WordPress product companies weave it into their product experiences. Is AI useful or just a buzzword every product company needs to show off these days? Enter in Jetpack AI Assistant. Jetpack, the latest WordPress plugin I've come across to get enhanced by AI. I had a chance to see this being demonstrated at WordCamp US 2023, and it looks pretty good. Let's dive into using Jetpack's new AI features. All right, we're taking a look at Jetpack AI Assistant today, jetpack.com slash AI. If you want to learn a little bit more about it, you can watch an AI Assistant video, which, fun fact, was actually made with AI uh, because I emailed them and asked when they announced this. Uh, you can get the quick rundown of it, but I want to just skip down to uh, the price points. Jetpack is modular these days, and I'll do further or future videos on Jetpack um, and sort of its modularity, but you can run a quota of 20 requests using the free Jetpack AI account or $8.33 a month if you paid annually. So Eh, just about $100 a year. If you want high volume request access and priority support, you get everything that's already included in the free plan. Um, high volume request access isn't a, a number. So I'm sure that there's a threshold depending on how much you use AI assistant. So um, one would imagine that if you're using it in like a newsroom environment, like a real newsroom uh, with many editors, many writers and authors, uh, there's probably a cap to it and you'll need something that's more of like an enterprise plan. Okay, let's dive into showing it off. I'm using uh, the 2014 theme, not that it matters here, 2024 theme, I keep saying 2014, not that it matters here in this presentation. But when we're um, editing a post, you can see this nice little magical AI assistant icon that uh, indicates that AI assistant is active and ready to go for uh, our blog post. So a few things I wanted to test out that uh, are on the example page at jetpack.com slash AI. But it said in the example that we can build a pricing grid comparing different plans. So let's just do that for a moment. And I might skip around in this video if there's like a long pause while AI is calculating, et cetera. So here we go. Um, display a pricing grid comparing two plans to my website a free plan that grants access to my newsletter versus a paid plan that gives the subscriber a collection of videos, I spelled collection wrong, private posts, access to the community forum, and the newsletter for $9 a month. So pretty big input there um, with a misspelling of words. Let's hit send and see what it does. It's going to generate a grid that you would normally see on any kind of pricing page. Uh, let's zoom up or scroll up a little bit. And it did pretty good. It said the features, newsletter videos, private post, community form, monthly price, and then the free plan gives us uh, the check mark that says, yes, this is included. And of course the paid plan goes and check marks uh, the, all the column all the way down and it says monthly price, $9. It even summarizes it for us, uh, which is pretty cool. You can say whether you want to enjoy basic features with a free plan or unlock exclusive content and community engagement with a paid plan, we have the options to suit your needs, start today and join our community. So pretty cool um, and spot on, I'd say. I think maybe what I might do is can you add red X icons in the free column for missing features? Let's see if it knows how to adjust that. Now it's going to rewrite the whole thing. Um, it's going to use the uh, the emoji. It didn't uh, it didn't do it a hundred percent correctly there, um, but. But that's okay. It's sort of getting closer and it kind of revamped things along. So a little bit of a mishap there, but not bad altogether. I am pretty satisfied uh, with that first run uh, of asking the AI assistant to do something other than just writing 
a blog post. So we'll just hit accept on that. Let's go down to a new example. Uh, I can ask the writing assistant to, if I click and expand here, it has these sort of starter prompts, if you will, where you can say, based on the preceding content, continue writing, correct spelling and grammar and simplify. Um, you can summarize content, but the writing portion is what I wanna focus on right here. Let's just say I want to write an informative article on, and it's going to sort of start crafting the prompt for us, craft an informative article explaining explaining how to run a freelance business designing WordPress websites for customers while maintaining a let's say 80k salary per year. Fix that spelling error and hit send and see what it does. So it's going to go out and do its thing. What I've found is the tests are really fast. Like, you know, testing this stuff out, it is pretty quick and it's, it's going to go ahead and start building out this blog for us. Um, when I spoke to the representative in the Jetpack booth at WordCamp, he said it was powered by chat GPT. Um, like I said, you get 20 free sort of requests here in the in the free plan. And I wonder, uh, well, two things I wonder, how long they'll, they'll continue to use chat GPT. And I wonder if they'll start to go towards like using hugging face uh, LLMs. <laughs> I believe that's the proper terminology because that's an open source um, sort of AI large language model. Um, large learning language model, LLM. I, I forget the exact, <laughs> the exact acronym there. All right. So there's our blog post. It finished it up, develop your skills and expertise, build an impressive portfolio, define your target market and niche, set your pricing structure. These are all pretty good selling points on uh, giving us a paragraph in each sort of uh, point here. Uh, by following these steps and implementing a strategic approach, you can run a successful freelance business designing WordPress websites. Remember, building a sustainable 80K per year salary takes time and persistence. Yes, I would say that if you're venturing off into your first uh, freelancing gig selling WordPress websites, um, definitely uh, give it some time and think uh, think the long term to start making uh, a, very, a very good salary uh, designing websites. Let's move on to another example. Um, I think that these are pretty good and you can kind of see where the AI assistant takes shape. I think one of the more useful areas, because I'm still like on the fence of whether or not you should be creating content fully. And of course, you'd want to go through this blog post and start to add in your own nuanced take on it. Um, but I can definitely see some interesting areas where... Uh, where AI is particularly useful for the common person who's not just creating content. So let's just say school information. Let's pretend you have a school website and you're posting information about the play that's happening at the school tonight, but now the entrance is no longer in the front of the building, it's in the back. So let's just say uh, update to access tonight's play. Please use the rear doors located by the playground. The front doors will be locked. The play starts at 8 p.m. So let's just say this is your announcement on the homepage of your school website. One of the really useful things, I think, for AI, and particularly in Jetpack, Assist Jetpack Assistant, is to highlight that text and then translate it, let's say, into Portuguese, not Portuguese, large Portuguese community around me, it will then translate it for you in the click of a button. So you could duplicate that uh, English paragraph block and then highlight that paragra paragraph block and translate it into another language. I think that is a fantastic use case for important in pieces of information. And look, if it's really important and all of a sudden you have a Portuguese, Spanish, um, Chinese was another one that you could translate to. In a pinch, you can translate important information in emergencies, in uh, school information like this. I think uh, this is a fantastic use case for something like Jetpack AI Assistant. Okay, wrapping up. Um, it's done slightly more complex things like build us a uh, pricing grid by prompting it with how we're going to position our uh, product and pricing. 
it wrote an entire blog post for us, and uh, it translated for us. One of the last cool features I think um, I want to show off today is by using the AI Assistant Generate Feedback button. We can click this button, and it will run through this post and give us feedback. So it says this blog post provides a good overview of different pricing options. Um, including a section about the school information seems unrelated to the content of the post and should be removed, which it should. So the AI is zooming out and saying, what does this post relate to? What is What kind of content is here? And it's finding these gaps in uh, what your reader might assume to be important and relevant information to them. Obviously, that school thing was just an example, and it said, no, this, this doesn't belong here. So that's really cool. And it, it might do that for information that you think is relevant to a blog post and recommend that you take it out. And then it gives you some other actions considering adding visuals or examples to enhance the visual appeal and engagement of this post. You know, and there's other examples here that I'm not gonna read off every single one. This is, I think, another great uh, real world use case. Like I think we're seeing a lot of content and AI assistant for writing and marketing and SEO these days because we're gonna be folks like me and maybe like you, we're gonna be the first adopters with technology like this. Whereas the average person, sure, we all want them to blog. And even though they have an AI assistant tool to help them do it, they probably still won't do it. But if they do, or if they're you know, taking their website building experience uh, a little lethargically, having an AI assistant that recommends these things without having to know everything about marketing or have to research all this stuff, it's not doing it for them, it's just recommending it. And that's what I like um, about the feedback button. So what did you think about Jetpack's AI assistant? Underwhelming, overwhelming, or just right? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, the bell, and subscribe to the channel. If you want more WordPress goodness, get the weekly newsletter at the wpminute.com slash subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.